Information and communication technology has become more important today because it helps people communicate faster and cheaper as well as increase productivity and efficiency. This is why the Seventh-day Adventist Church emphasizes ICT education, particularly among school-going children, to enhance their use of the internet for academic purposes. The church today through its National Employability and Entrepreneurship Skills Training Program brought together nearly 2,000 school children from some selected schools within the Techima Metropolis to empower them with IT and entrepreneurial skills. Elder Andrews Tre is the patron of the program. Our aim is that we are in a global world where ICT drives everything. So if we're able to train them, then they will be able to be empowered in everything that they do. We are also using this project to also solve an unemployment problem. Because, you know, people complete school, they want government to employ them. Government sector is choke. You know, they cannot employ them, though they can do something. But if we get more entrepreneurs, it will solve this unemployment problem for the country. And they need the ICT. The focus on IT, according to Dr. Kwabna Adobuafo, a former lecturer at the Valley View University, will help provide relief to parents and the nation at large in terms of providing jobs to the youth. Some of us keep on following this way because eventually it becomes our burden too. We are also parents, we are church administrators, and if you don't do anything to help them today, they will be worrying us, they will be worrying their parents, and also Ghana. But if we are able to train, let's say, 1,000 of them, and they are able to pull just two people, two, as they are also personal employees, it is going to help us in the, in the for analysis. Pastor Alexander Ajapon, who is in charge of public campus ministry for the Seventh-day Adventist Church, expressed worry at the time wasted by students while on the internet and asked that the training would help them take advantage of the digital space. Now students, you know, purchase the data, they go to the internet, but they are not aware that they can use the same data to create wealth. And so their intention is to help them um, create help, um, wealth for themselves. As they, they, they go into the internet, they have to take advantage, not only just browsing or watching uh, movies and videos or going to TikTok, but they can also, as it were, you know, um, grow their wealth on the digital um, space. Special guest of Anna and Minister for Local Government and Rural Development and Member of Parliament for Tichman South, Martin J. Mensa Corsa reiterated the relevance of the training and admonished the students to renew the mandate of the NPP government to help bring the needed development to the country at large. At the national level, there are a lot of things that are happening. If not even at all, I won't forget the say that is, that is one policy, one policy intervention that every young school going person must appreciate. It is something that is now to push you for a better tomorrow. So you remember me, you remember Dr. Tabania, and together we we'll get the power, we we'll come and serve you better. Anna Sabit, Joy News. Teach me.